This section is about standards. According to the author Haruki Murakami, as with marathon runs and lengths of toilet paper, there have to be standards. Standards are all around us, not just in the data world. Weights and measures, for example, are universal standards. We need them to help us share and make our lives easier. So, what about data standards? What is a data standard? The United States Geological Survey has a very specific definition. Data standards are the rules by which data are described and recorded. In order to share, exchange and understand data, we must standardize the format as well as the meaning. The best thing about data standards, for biodiversity in particular, is that there, are pro there is probably already one out there to describe the types of data that you have and you are thinking about creating. If, however, you are thinking about creating a new standard, stop. Go and do some research, look it up, it is unlikely that you will need to. Some examples already available in the natural history include EML, the Ecological Metadata Language Standard, Audubon Media Description, or Audubon Core, the GGBN Global Genome Biodiversity Standard, and the Ocean Data Standards and Best Practices Standard. There are many, many more. The main purpose for a data standard is to create a framework to allow easy sharing of data. The result is that you will increase the accuracy, integrity and consistency of your data set. And by clarifying ambiguous meaning, you will minimize redundant data and allow for ease of use. So, let's explore the Darwin Core Standard a little more. In essence, it can be seen as a standard containing the definitions of the core fields used to describe a natural history occurrence, be that a physical specimen or a sighting. It certainly does not include every variable or parameter that may be measured or recorded about that occurrence. These, in general, will be included in separate supporting modules called extensions. These will be used to augment the core data. When visualized, this combination of a core and extensions is often referred to as a star schema. We will describe the star schema in much more detail in following modules. <laughs>